Happy Easter Monday morning, everyone. We hope that you are doing well as we continue to celebrate being resurrection people. Christ is risen, and we are so thankful for that gift and the hope of new life, the hope of eternal life that we have in Christ Jesus. This week for our daily assurance videos, we are going to be sharing some wisdom from Proverbs, and we are looking forward to another week of daily assurance with you. This morning, to get us started, we are looking at Proverbs 16, verse 3, and there the writer says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Now, this is a, a special verse for me uh, in that it impacted my call to ministry greatly. I was called to ministry at an early age. I was five years old, and I remember the night very well. We were gathered together in worship, my family and I, with some other friends. And that night, the music was beautiful. There was just something in the atmosphere that felt special. I remember midway through one of the songs, I tugged on my dad's shirt sleeve, and as he bent down to see what I needed, I said to him, I said, Dad, there's Little League basketball and Little League football, and Daddy, I'm no good at all that stuff. Why can't there be Little League preaching? Now, that was funny, right? Can you imagine a five-year-old saying something like that? It was comical. But as I grew older and I discerned more and more my call to ministry, I realized that that was, in fact, the first time that I felt God tugging on my heart to devote the rest of my life to the church. And so, as I grew older, I never really wavered from that call. It was always where I felt God pulling me or tugging me or guiding me in life. But in my later teenage years, I struggled a bit, as I really wanted to be a normal teenager. And sometimes what a normal teenager looks like rubs up against that call to ministry. And I remember very well being on a weekend retreat. And as the community of people gathered to worship one night, a man approached me. And this man was someone who I didn't know very well. In fact, beyond that weekend, I never really interacted with him much, but he greatly impacted my call to ministry and my faith journey. That night, this man came to me, and he put his hands on my shoulder, and I could just feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. This man spoke this proverb to me. He could see in me a person who was wrestling with commitment to my faith, to this call to ministry, and the struggle of wanting to do things my way. And that night, this man looked at me and he said, you have all the passion in the world. You just need a bit more commitment. That hit me hard that night and really changed my life. From that day forward, I looked at my commitment to faith and to ministry differently. Now, I don't pretend to know where you are in your faith journey. Maybe that story resonates with you. Maybe you feel as though you lack a little bit of commitment. Or maybe recently or, or at some point in your journey, you intentionally turn toward discipleship and you feel good about your commitment to your faith. What I do know is wherever you are on this journey, God loves you right there in that place. And wherever you are, God is coming alongside you and wants to know you more in that place. We all have room to grow, especially in our commitment to Christ Jesus. But be encouraged, we are on this journey together. God has a plan for you and for me and for all of us. And we are on this ride together. So be encouraged this day, my friends. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Be well. We love you. We'll see you soon.